Welcome. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Winko 8 inch chef knife. This is the Winko Achero series. We can see the knife measures in at just over 8 inches at 8 and a quarter for the cutting surface. Now I've had this knife for about 6 months now and it has been a pleasure to work with. I strongly recommend it. That said, it does have a few pitfalls and I'm going to be talking about these today. In this uh, review, I'm going to be breaking it up into three parts. I'm going to talk about functionality, then I'm going to talk about fit and finish, and finally I'm going to talk about value. So let's get started. Functionality-wise, this knife is a dream. Let's start with the balance aspect. We can see that the knife balances perfectly when you put your finger right under the bolster. The other thing I really like about this knife, the weight. It weighs in at just 100, or sorry, just uh, 260 grams. But because of the way it balances, you don't even feel it. It feels really, really, really light and comfortable. Now the handle of the knife fits my hand perfectly. I've got no complaints. The bolster prevents the knife from slipping. The handle is nice and solid. It's just great. The next part I want to talk about, and I'm going to show you this over here, is the blade shape, which I think is done very, very well on this knife. Notice how we go from very, very thick to thin and thinner, all the way to the tip. This is perfect for detail work. You can use the tip of your knife to slice onions parallel to your cutting board very, very easily. This knife does it very well. Now let's move on to fit and finish, because this is an area where I think this knife has a couple of issues. I like this one so much that I got, I got a second one. And these knives over here, if you look at it, you can see that there's a difference in the etching. I know some Winko knives have this problem where there's some quality assurance issues with the etching. Now the way that this um, shows up in practice is when you're chopping. This etching, it might feel very, very rough, like rock, very rough. So much so that it's gonna scrape the skin off your fingers when you do it for a long time. It's very uncomfortable, uh, makes the knife impossible to work with if it has this issue. If your knife has this problem, you're gonna need some 600 grit sandpaper, and just go over the etching over and over and over until it's smoothed out. You'll still be able to read it, but you don't want it to hurt your fingers. And then afterwards, maybe take some 1200 grit or 1000 grit sandpaper, really smooth it out so you get the surface of the blade nice and shiny again. Now, I've tried doing this with steel wool and it didn't work. You really need sandpaper. You need something that's really abrasive because this etching is rough. And again, it doesn't happen with all knives, so hopefully the one you order doesn't have this for you to worry about. The other fit and finish issue I've noticed with this knife is the sharpness of the edges, particularly around the top. So as you're cutting, if your finger scrapes up against the top of the knife, you could end up scratching yourself, cutting yourself, just because these edges over here, they're just so sharp. So first thing to do once you get your knife, take your 600 grit sandpaper and really polish those edges out, deburr them so that you can work with it safely. The other thing you'll notice is sometimes, and this do, again, this doesn't happen with all knives from Winko, just a couple of them I have, the points on the handle where the plastic meets the metal, sometimes the transition isn't very, very smooth. And if you see this, again, you can take your sandpaper and just smooth out the contact points so it's a little bit more comfortable. Again, these are minor issues. The other thing I want to talk about with this knife that I think is a pitfall for some folks, and this is going to be very hard to see on camera, but I'm going to try anyway. Notice how the bolster over here extends just a little bit past the edge of the blade. You might not be able to see it, but it does, just a small amount. 
And this is going to make a difference when you're trying to slice. It's easy to fix. All you do is you take a file and you take off a little bit of metal over here. You want the edge of your blade to go just below your bolster. And over time, as you sharpen this over and over again, you're going to have the same thing happen. The uh, edge of the blade is going to move up, but the bolster is going to sit there. You need the bolster to move up as well. So every once in a while, you probably need to file this down a little. The last part I want to discuss when concerning fit and finish is the sharpness. Right out of the box, this knife is razor sharp. It can slice hairs, it can slice newsprint, it can slice paper, no problem. It's uh, usually knives don't come sharp, this one does. It's sharpened to about a 20 degree angle on each side. Now 20 degrees is a little bit better than department store knives, but still I like mine maybe around 15 degrees on each side. You might find you'll get a little bit better performance that way. But regardless, it's sharp out of the box, it's ready to use. Now let's move on to the last part, value. This knife is made of forged steel. And forged steel knives tend to be a little bit more expensive. Not this one though. This is uh, one of the better forged steel knives I've seen in this price range. Going back to price range, this price range wise, this beats just about anything out there. I've worked with a lot more expensive knives and this one feels just like them. Uh, I'm impressed. I, I paid $10 for this knife. I mean, I did not expect to get something like this for $10. This is great. It, it's a wonderful surprise. Like I said, I even ordered another one. I'm very, very happy with the build and the quality of it. To sum things up, uh, I think uh, this knife is a great bargain. Functionality wise, it is wonderful to work with it. It performs very, very well in the kitchen. The balance on it feels great, it has a comfortable handle, and I really love how the tip of it is nice and thin. Fin and finish wise, it needs some improvements. You're gonna need to probably spend a little bit of time smoothing out the rough edges on this knife uh, before you can work with it. And if you happen to have a problem with the etching, you're gonna need to fix that because it makes it unusable. And finally, value-wise, like I said, this is a bargain. Please leave me comments if there's anything else you'd like to know about this knife. And I hope this information is useful.